This one's going to be a long one. Strap in. If you mash the X button, your loading screen goes faster. Anyway, I did not see the R Vancouver post about the rising cost of fall. But everything is, is rising, so I'm not surprised. The one that annoys me the most is that like once every two months is like guaranteed karma. People will post like, I just got an $11 taco from Taco Fino and look at it. And I'm like, brother, you, 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 you see the prices before you pay for the food. If you, if you, you don't want to pay $11 for a taco, walk out and go to a different restaurant, man. Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my brother. Two tap. Two tap. Okay, maybe don't walk into it if you're already spaced. Three tap. One tap. There was more to like there. There was more to like. The greed? You don't have to post your nose yet. Like, we're not at the, like, it's like day two of studying for the MCATs and you're taking a practice exam and you're like, damn, I failed. There's a process. You, you take this boss, which is a big problem, and you break it into smaller and smaller steps. You know, we're not going to beat the boss on this attempt. We're not going to beat the boss on our 10th attempt, probably. We're going to, when we, when we start to get past the halfway point, we can, we can start to have no's for runs that could have gone there. But remember, you only get the privilege of beating this guy once. We should savor it as much as we can. in a row. <laughs> the other thing is, you might be able to uh, dodge the attacks better, but when you parry, you also open up a stagger window. Which I'm very much looking forward to seeing for the first time. Will there be an Elden Ring randomizer before DLC? I don't believe so, no. I'm just, I'm now at a phase in my life. I'm like in where I am in Twitch at least. That's like, I don't want to promise anything. Just, get, <laughs> just getting the amount done that I've been trying to get done or I've gotten used to getting done is hard enough some weeks. So we take it one day at a time. Double heal me? Pretty bad, could have been better. Okay. Bro, bro, you're not supposed to have poise. Dex users don't have poise. You can't be in the corner here, man. You can't, you can't be in the corner there. <laughs> Pure, just desperation. Maybe you're here so we can farm Estus. Maybe that's your deal. Where's she? The fuck did she go? 
I was waiting for, I was trying to farm Estes off her. She just ran away. I needed my Estes. Side people always run away at one health. Not this time. Not this time. Can I just sprint away from her and then kite her until she decides she's tired and then go back into the fight? We just got bonked, son. I, I did not get bonked. I was fully prepared to say that I got bonked. Okay. His recovery from the, the half stagger is so fast. He goes like, ah, and then immediately stomps his foot. Parrying until his weapon breaks is pretty OP. I guess we could just try to parry him enough that his weapon breaks without attacking him so that the gank squad shows up. We could just run full defense for her a little bit. <laughs> That's the tech. We'll give it a couple tries, maybe. I mean, the, the parries are hard, but... one little poke. I can't resist. Okay. That should be the gimmick. Fair enough. I mean, him having just a handle would be pretty sick. It just takes time. It's true, you do also learn his patterns this way. Why is everyone trying to kill Pinocchio? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't seen the movie since it came out. I don't really know what the... Um, I don't really know what the deal is with Pinocchio. Come on, stay on target. Huge. Huge. Give me some health. Oh. Health. Health me. Okay, back it up. That's a doubler. Not bad. Horrible. Health me. We were doing a lot better there. It's gonna take like 50 parries to break his weapon, but... You know the movie came out in 1940? That's the joke. You know what's crazy is having Disney Plus and like occasionally my daughter will be like, let's watch this. And you uh, look at the year that it came out. It's like fucking Lil Pluto came out in 1942. And you're like, this shit must have gone crazy at the Nickelodeon. 
in between like getting updated on how the boys are doing in the Battle of the Bulge right now. You go to the damn movie theater and it's like, da, 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 you wouldn't believe it, Operation Market Garden. And then all of a sudden it's like a cute little cartoon about like a little dog. Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like I imagine those, those whimsies, the, the elements of whimsy kind of hit different. Oh! Well, that was bad. Also bad. I just wanted to let him know I'm still here. Okay. No lady. Oh! It's been a while since I put anyone <laughs> in the <laughs> window. Rest in peace, oh, Geppetto's puppy. British dudes be like, unhand me? So true. British dudes be like, you what? British dudes be like, sees him? That's damn true. British dudes be like, you know what I mean? It could be a bit. What about saying things that British people say but not in a British accent? Hello, governor. I hate it, but that's the point. British people talking about Doctor Who. Go on then. So true. It sounds so weird to say it. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Be. It's just an honest question about England. I love to learn about foreign countries. I have to preface this. People think that, like, because something is like Canadian food, they think we eat it all the time. People in Canada don't eat poutine all the time. We probably consume more poutine than any other nation per capita, but I know the average person might have it like once a year, might have it like once every six months, right? Some people are having it once a week. They're in high school and their cafeteria doesn't give them access to proper nutrition. We've all been there. Bring it on. But in England, how often does a person typically eat a french fry sandwich? Because that's so funny to me. Never? Okay! I'm, I'm dealing with uh, a stereotyped view of the country then. You mean a chip buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a french fry sandwich with like HP sauce on it. Once in a blue moon. This morning. Not never, but not that often. Once every few months. French fries are not the same as chips. Chips are thicker cut. Come on. Listen. I know what a french fry is, I know what a chip is. It's a french fried potato, okay? Just relax. He'll be like, the American Mayan can't possibly conceive of this. And then it's a french fry that's like 1.5 times thicker than the french fry you get at McDonald's. Okay, I think it's fair to say... I forgot what I was doing for a bit. Let's bring it back. We're breaking this weapon. I told you. We 
need to stop dodging the overhead. Do you relax? We need to confront the overhead. Mission failed. Okay, okay. Did you eat Greg's in London? I did. And without any sense of irony, it's, it was actually one of the best meals I had in London. I don't mind British food. I don't mind if, if someone was like, hey, do you want to go out for lunch at a British pub? I would be like, let's go. Let me get a, some kind of meat pie. Let me get a fish and chips. Let me get uh, a seared halloumi sandwich. Let me get bangers and mash. Let me get the lamb stew, okay? I would say that Kate and I were a little disappointed with the food scene that we experienced in London, at least. We also, I don't know, we might not have gone to the right sort of places. Get me out. I mean, it's a foreign country. Like, uh, I barely speak the language. It's kind of hard to get around there. Hold. I still remember. I'm not knocking him, okay? It's just funny. I remember... Math is telling us, because he was in London at the same time, he was telling us like it's so expensive because they're using taxis to get around everywhere. And we were like, why don't you just take the subway? And he's like, oh, I don't know how. Brother, the signs are in English! Come on, this is the best, this is the best we've ever done, man. Sorry to inform you, I think I might have to attack the boss to kill him. <laughs> I think I might have to attack him. I'm fortunate, but... Do you guys say aluminum or aluminium? I mean, I, I'll give England credit. We say aluminum. But we should be saying aluminium, right? Like, that's the way it's spelled. They got that one right, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I will say aluminum, because I don't want to be beaten to death with hammers outside of the damn Save on Foods, but... Wait, it's not spelled that way in North America? Really? We spell it aluminum? You have to forgive me, I don't find myself writing the word that often in my day-to-day. -day. I'm insane. Okay. We get our space. I'm free. This is the best we've ever done, by far. 
Leave! Leave this place! Should be like, oh no. That's a heal if I've ever seen one. You gotta, you gotta block that shit. You definitely gotta block that shit. Okay, back it up. Take a little regression and don't overinvest. No, Buckethead. What the fuck? You gotta get ulted. It's the only way. My Estus! No, I'm on the wrong thing! There you go. Okay. We're so back. We, we got a third of the way through this fucker's HP. Are you kidding me? You just gotta learn how to fight five individuals, okay? Needle moved, though. <clears throat> Time to summon. Your stock is weak and you will not survive the harsh winter we're about to face. Turns out the big guy seemed hard, but he's actually the easiest. It's the, it's the two pieces you gotta worry about. Still pretty hard. Pretty not easy at the very least. Oh, help. Great start. Okay, try getting a single perfect parry and we'll build off that. <laughs> parry a single move challenge. Has your opinion on Lies of P changed? No, it's game of the year 2023 so far. Asterisk, my personal opinion. If I wanted Metacritic's opinion, I would read Metacritic. Didn't play Baldur's Gate 3 yet, and I never freaking will, because it's long. It's too long for me. Asterisk, my personal opinion. Macros, no offense. But I will say, I know Baldur's Gate 3 was like a massive commercial failure for Larian that they may not recover from. If you're trying to run it back, maybe consider making the next one like six hours long. Maybe Baldur's Gate 4 is six hours long. I'd be all in, man. I could do that in a stream and a half. I'll pass it along with the feedback. Tell them it came from a streamer that got sponsored to play Baldur's Gate 3. Because if you tell them that it comes from me, they're never going to return my emails. Well, David's emails, at least. But if you tell them it came from somebody that got sponsored to play the game, it eliminates my competition and thereby elevates myself in their eyes. How many hours did you play Midnight Suns? Midnight Suns is, uh, well, you know what? 
it's none of your business how many hours I've played Midnight Sun. That's between me and God. You didn't make me? Ergo, you can't break me. You didn't build me, so you can't kill me. <laughs> Get out of here, lady. You stink. Oh, she's gone. You have to stand in there for every single overhead. You have to stay in there for the overheads. I spent 100 hours in Midnight Suns. It was a pretty great game. People, they, they hate the truth. It just so happens that Marvel's Midnight Suns is a great game. It suffers from two problems. It came out at peak anti-Marvel sentiment because it's where um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe fumbled the bag and made like three middling movies in a row, which allowed the haters to get leverage. And then secondarily, it's made by Firaxis, which means they made that instead of XCOM 3. So people have built-in resentment towards it. If you can get over those two things, it's a great game. I'm insane. My controller. I'm alive. I didn't get the punish, but I lived. Perfect for sure. Rest in peace, Japan. It was boring to watch. Well, listen, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that maybe Pharanxis didn't make Marvel Midnight Suns to be watched. They probably made it to be played. I just occupy a weird little corner of the ecosystem. You want boring to watch. I was going to th throw in some serious haymakers out there. I mean, there's people on this website that have, that have put in 500 hours watching people play Civilization. That's all I'm saying. Great game to play. When I'm playing Civilization, I'm like, well, this is the best game ever made. When I'm watching someone play Civilization, I'm like, bro, I need, what the hell am I doing? than sap demonstrably false sap is the number one hit at the box office still three years after its release martin scorsese just jealous martin scorsese still salty that he didn't get the ant-man job come on martin green's not your color Fishing for backstabs. Sad. Let me ask this, bro. My controller. Oh. 
That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Best banter is the dulls. Extremely rainbow voice. Yep. Magnesium phosphate. Fertilizer. Crustaceans. Yep. This is a tropical nation. Yep. Wallace and Fortuna. Yep, we got it. Perhaps a tad more sodium chloride next time. <laughs> yep, 250,000. Too low, 500,000. Too high, 375,000. Too low, 425,000. Too high, 400,000. Chat, we got it again. Tradle slander feels bad. I don't need to slander Tradle. Tradle has a problem, with all due respect. It is fun. They gotta put some more noteworthy. I mean, there's no good word to use there. They gotta put some more noteworthy countries from a from an economic standpoint into Tradle. Every single time, it's like a an island nation that you've only heard of on average because you're either from there or because they filmed the season of Survivor there. Holding block on you might be the way to go. It should be population weighted. It means one one third of the days should be either India or China. Me when I own you. Bad. I mean, once you miss the first one, you're kind of cooked long term, honestly. It's all right, we'll start rebuilding the Estus. Yep, once you miss the first one, you're... I mean, it's like starting your, your drum fill on the wrong beat. Can't you just call it jazz? What are you talking about? Jazz. Is that what they renamed the music in the cantina to? I heard they, they don't call it jizz music anymore. Jimmy Carr was right. You can't say shit these days. Oh, we're going to cancel the... The cantina band because they make jizz music. We're gonna cancel that alien with the with the freak mouth that goes Whoa! We're gonna cancel that. It's never enough, is it, man? Sorry, Gen Z. Sorry, we're not perfect. Sorry, in the '70s we made cool movies where like a weird orange alien with a pharyngeal jaw goes. Yes, because it was added later. Much like that pivotal scene where Han Solo walks behind Jabba the Hutt. And when you're watching the 1977 original version of The New Hope, you're like, wait a minute, doesn't Jabba the Hutt have a tail? This is breaking my immersion. And then in the remastered editions, when Han Solo walks behind, they have a horrible CGI face on Jabba that goes, oh. Because it looks like Han Solo steps on his tail. Oh, man. I knew I wasn't getting that one. There was no confidence. Probably should heal, huh? I hold block on you.
You're a block holder. Okay, okay. Simmer me. Thank you, you saved me. What's the lore on these guys? I think it's just... If people in your city start dressing like this, you know you're cooked. Like, you can have furries and you can have steampunk. But if you get steampunk furries, it's time to start planning your exodus. That's my controller. Your damage is too shit for this? Here's the thing, right? I popped, like, my, um... Actually, you know what? Maybe I do have enough. I, I mistakenly assume because I popped so much ergo, I didn't have enough ergo to uh, up upgrade my umbrella. You got 9k in the boss fight right now? It's not even a lot. These are worth 700 each. 1400? I'm balling. You know that's dog. Wow, I haven't. I'm. What are you talking about? Just, You're just my sharpen my umbrella, okay? I suppose my. I'll raise my etiquette by 17. Not enough material. I need four! How does this son of a gun scale? Does acid damage? Hidden moonstones. Let me just try something here. People said this was good. For dex. Unfortunately, I am a dex user. So we're sending it. Don't make the same mistake I did. Don't tell anyone you leveled this. Didn't they say the handle was good? Here we go again. Here we go again. Take this off. I mean, this looks kind of sick to me. I, if my, I, I, Ergo wavelength decoder. Hmm. What I mean, a crummy commercial? Whoops. Hand, hand over I, the cryptic I, vessel. I, Crafted cryptic vessel decryption. Strike the puppet hanging from the alchemist bridge on Elysian went. Boulevard. What the hell? It's only good for advanced builds? What the hell is an advanced build? I'm technique. This is, by the way, this is the danger of, of unsolicited advice, okay? You might say you didn't follow my advice fully. I didn't say the weapon is good. I said the handle is good. This is like teaching like an eight-year-old kid how to make a pipe bomb. And then when they, you know, blow something up, you're like, I told you not to blow yourself up. Like, you should have known that, like, you got to know who you're giving advice to man you start giving me a, a, it's like ron burgundy on the teleprompter if you start writing shit like this weapon's good for a dex build all of a sudden i might start believing it why would you play this instead of bloodborne um because bloodborne runs at 18 frames per second bring it on you ain't seen nothing like my brother <laughs> Easiest parry in my life.
Chill, bro. Dude is looking corroded, that's for sure. Get him! I mean, I don't... I'll be honest with you, it seems like I'm basically doing the same amount of damage, but... Doesn't seem that bad. Would you stream a Bloodborne remaster? With all due respect, we're living in fantasy land right now. It's a game that doesn't exist. Hasn't even been announced, much less developed. Much less, like, releases imminent. Much less has come out, right? Like, we're, we're, we're deep in the fantasy land now. Bring it on. I don't even know what next week is going to look like, much less 2031. It's like you're asking me as a nine-year-old what I'm going to eat for dinner as an adult. Boom, simple answer, chicken nuggets. Wouldn't you know it, I'm 34 years old. I'm like, my ass will have the chopped salad with a chicken breast, please. You know, things change over time. But the world changes, you change. Pretty strange warping of a simple question. Listen, this is the funniest way to describe a joke that I've ever heard in my life. Also, I, I mean, I hope the OP didn't take offense to the answering of the question, but like, you've been asked questions like this for like 15 years. At some point, you gotta have some fun with it. Otherwise, it just becomes a very macabre existence. But what are your thoughts on cheddar cheese? I'm fucking for it. Okay, next question. No, this isn't like inside the actor's studio. They're trying to entertain people here. They're like, if you ask a question, in my opinion, if you read the terms and services of the stream, you are consenting to having your question warped for the amusement of the other people watching the stream. In many ways, it's like almost the worst outcome that I, I shot my whole wad upgrading this weapon that apparently sucks, and it's exactly the same as um, my umbrella. <laughs> like if it was way better, obviously that would be awesome. And if it was way worse, obviously I'd be like, well, this sucks, let's go back to the umbrella. Bullying the guy who asked you a question where the answer is yes? Well, that's not bullying. It's not bullying in the slightest. Also, it's not entertaining. Will you fucking eat three handfuls of goldfish crackers tonight? after you ate dinner, after you said you were full from dinner, will you eat three handfuls of goldfish crackers just because you like the flavor? Absolutely, you know? I mean, we could answer all these obvious questions if it would make you happy. What the hell was that? Wait a minute, this thing hits like a freaking truck when you press Y? Like, I'm... I don't know, maybe for some streamers, they enjoy that. They think that they're very interesting people. I'm like constantly trying to fight back against the idea that I'm special. I'm out here like, why do you care about my opinion on cheddar cheese, bro? I'm literally just a guy you'll never meet. People are like, how do you feel about meat subsidized farming? And I'm like, I have a bachelor's degree in biology. 
the most arts of all the sciences. Like you're you're barking up the wrong tree. I don't have any I don't have any experience to back up my naive worldview. Then yet the questions just keep coming, bro. They just keep coming. Still not understand why people watch him. Peeling back the the we've removed the the second layer of irony out of out of an indeterminable amount of layers. Even the response to the response to the joke was a joke. We turned the response to the joke into another joke, and now you're responding to the joke as if it's real again. And they, even the response, this is not the voice I would normally use if I was responding to a person in the real world. So even this is a joke. It's a performance at the very least. It's all a performance. Is it all fake? Is it all real? The answer is yes. It's all a little bit real and it's all a little bit fake. Beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. You know, in the same way when you look at a piece of art, which is not what I'm saying this is, both you and the art are changed by the experience. It's Schrodinger's stream. The end goal of the stream is just that you were entertained while you're watching. Now, sometimes there's little caltrops people throw in. Why are you bullying the guy who asked if you like cheddar cheese? It's not bullying. Of course I like cheddar cheese. Look at me. It's a stupid question. Now you're going to be offended on that guy's behalf. That guy doesn't exist. I'm the guy who made up the do you like cheddar cheese question. The first guy asked, will you play Bloodborne if it gets remastered on PC? So don't get offended on my behalf, brother. I got enough for the whole class. At some point, there must be solidarity for the irony to make sense. I haven't found that point yet. You may be right. I'm a 90s kid. I'm fluent in irony. And I don't mean that ironically. Hold the line. I was glancing at chat while I perfect parried that. You understand the levels of power we're dealing with here? Follow it up with the resin. No, no. How annoying does Chad have to get for you to close the tab? It'll never happen. I just noticed the lobster up here. It just says, just says red lobster, man. Most underrated restaurant out there only because it's so overhated. Give him my ass beating the red lobster. Anyway, uh, I would never close chat. Whenever I get annoyed with chat, I just start talking about the video game. <laughs> and that's... I, I punish all of us by making the content shitty. Hell, hey, 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 hey. So who put those planks there? Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my brother. Insane. <laughs> I like Red Lobster. I haven't eaten Red Lobster in... Probably like 11 years. But... I think as long as you know you're not getting a, um, a, a fine seafood dinner and instead you're just eating, I mean, you're, you're gorging yourself on food that came from the ocean. 
I think that's good. I mean, I would put Red Lobster above Outback Steakhouse. I would put Red Lobster above Chili's. I would put Red Lobster above TGI Fridays any day of the week. I probably put it. I mean, this is this is just because I love seafood. I think I would probably put it on the same level of the Cheesecake Factory. I would acknowledge that the Cheesecake Factory doesn't cook all their food in the microwave. But they also don't have all-you-can-eat crab fest, so or Cheddar Bay biscuits. And the Cheddar Bay Biscuits go crazy, dude. Hey, Cowboy Baby. It's, it's funny no matter how you take that. As a Kid Rock reference, it's funny. Imagining a baby who's also a cowboy, also pretty funny. It's a good username. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Red Lobster's Cheeks? I, I, I don't know, something must be wrong with me, because I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's no, uh, you know, Blue Water Cafe, but it's no Minami. Okay, see you never. It's become worse in the last 11 years? I don't know, people were having this take about Red Lobster being bad like a while ago. You might be right. I have no experience with a post-pandemic Red Lobster, but you ever consider maybe actually the lobster changed? Oh, we were so in there too. I work at Applebee's. We really do be microwaving the baby back ribs. Listen, I'm <laughs> not going to make a lot of friends for this. Here's what I'm going to say. What do I... Everyone's so hoity-toity about the microwave. And I, don't, I basically never use my microwave except to reheat food that can't be reheated in the air fryer, okay? But if I go to a restaurant and I order something, they cook it in the microwave and I eat it and it tastes good, what do I care if it's cooked in the microwave? They fulfilled their end of the bargain, as far as I'm concerned. If I eat it and it tastes like garbage, and I'm like, was this made in the microwave, then I might be upset. But if, I, if I'm at an airport restaurant, they serve me some microwave shit that I ordered, and it tastes like I expected it to taste, then, you know, my compliments to Chef Mike then. Why? why? Why would you not take that opportunity to S this, bro? Oh, we were so good, too. I haven't earned it. I've earned it, okay. Oh, are you from the New Hampshire Crow Waves? No, uh, Des Moines. Okay, we know what we're doing. Back it up. This is not your this is not your moment. Back it up. That's your moment. Until he attacks. That's not your moment. You hold on then? Estes return? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you twice. Read. Okay, you're leaving. I'm applying resin. No! It's been a while since I put anyone six feet under.
I mean, of all the times for the controller to break. Don't try to block every hit, man. Me when, me watching a streamer when the streamer's controller breaks. Hey, your strategy is not good. <clears throat> What's going on with the controller? The fucking USB micro C must have a short in it. Once every 10 minutes, it just decides he said is his day off. But here, we triumph over adversity. We don't let it get us down. We get even. Oh, you got me. You gotta come up with a new excuse sometime? No, I don't. I just keep using the real one. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Go leave and watch a streamer with a better controller. We're stubborn here, okay? You know what you sound? You sound like my daughter last night at bedtime. You know what she said? She said, I want a book. I handed her a book, a Dr. Seuss book. She said, I don't want this book. I said, okay, what book do you want? She said, I want an, a Korean book. I said, okay, here's a Korean book. Then she said, I don't want this book. I want a pink Korean book. I said, okay, I scroll through the damn library. Found her a pink Korean book. She said, I don't want this one. This one's scary. I said, okay, so you want a pink Korean book that's not scary. I handed her a pink Korean book with some cute animals on it. She said, I don't want this. I don't want one that's cute. So you don't want a pink Korean book that's cute. You don't want a book unless it's pink Korean, not cute and not scary. So I said, what kind of book do you want? She said, oh, I want a funny book. Finally, I found a, a pink Pororo book. It's called Pororo Ice Cream Joaheyo. Pororo, I like ice cream. Amazing. I handed it to her. She looked over it. Like me at age 19, sampling a, a glass of the cheapest wine on the menu. And then she said, yes, this will do nicely. And she was finally ready for bed. But I mean, that's the kind of stuff that we're dealing with here. So if you think I'm concerned about a little short in the controller cable, people say things like, uh, don't you want to take pride in your job? Do you see what the fuck I'm doing here? This is a shameful operation. It's the most shameful industry on the damn planet, I think. I don't want to take pride in the operation. That would be cringe. I'll show up begrudgingly day after day, get paid to do it and have as much fun as I can, but we're not out here. We're not like a, a cardiac surgeon in the neonatal unit or something like that. We're just... I'm like uh, Jonas in Dark, man. I don't know why I exist, okay? Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing. Give me some of that. Sad how much I own you. Oh. <laughs> it's sad how much I own you. You're just mad because I'm styling on you. Calm 